And the BAFTA goes to Ben Lester for The Night Manager. Wow. Uh, everyone said they didn't expect it, and now I know how it feels. So uh, thank you very much, and thank you to Susanna for being the most incredible director to be allowed to work with. And uh, thank you to John and Miguel for being amazing assistants and uh, even better friends. So thank you. Thank you, BAFTA. Thank you. <laughs> ben Lester, massive congratulations. Thank you very Editing much. fiction, The Night Manager. How does that feel? It feels <laughs> unreal. Very, very strange. Shall I pinch you? <laughs> yeah, well, a bit, not too hard, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, everyone so far said they didn't expect it going up there, and of course, why would you? But, like, you really don't expect it. I mean, Editing really don't. Uh, in fiction for, for this kind of show, so, so important. You've got an amazing cast. When you get those performances in and you're working on that, how does that feel? Yeah, good question. Every day going into work, you go, yes, that looks amazing. Right, and Susanna, the director, would, well, I remember once you came in and go, and went, how is it? Is it good? I was like, are you joking? It's the best thing I've ever been involved in. She's like, oh, okay, thanks. Oh, good. Not even thanks. Just like, all right. All right, it's like, fine. I mean, you see this stuff, I mean, it was like doing a massive movie and six hours of it. And we were in Morocco for six weeks because I got taken out there, which was amazing. And we were in Mallorca for five weeks. And, you know, Tom Hiddleston and Hugh Laurie and Olivia Coleman and everyone was just kind of hanging out. And it was the nicest thing. And. It seems a bit of a cliche because everyone says, oh, you know, everyone was lovely and we made friends, but everyone was lovely and we made <laughs> friends. It really, really was. But you're right, kind of filmic in its um, ambition and in its scope. Is it like anything that you've worked on before? Well, it's strange because obviously in the edit, the quality, your job is the same, I think. Regard, it's the, you know, it's what you've got to work with. The, the job's been done, the, the scale of it, your job's the same regardless of whether it costs a thousand pounds to shoot or a thousand million pounds to shoot. You still try and tell the story with the material you've got. But when you've got incredible performances and incredible material, it's just exciting. You're not trying to solve problems with it. You're just trying to make it as good and as cool as and exciting as you can. And is that what you think of as your role, as being a problem solver? Sometimes, yes, but also I think I'd just like to put something together to be uh, something that I would enjoy watching because I'm just the audience. Uh, so when the material comes in, you just want it to be as gripping, as exciting, as moving, as funny as you can because it will make it will you know you'll enjoy it. And in fact, you think if you enjoy it, hopefully someone else might. Absolutely. And that's what I think anyway. No, I agree, and I'm I'm sure like me, there's lots of people in the room tonight, and and, and lots of. Um, programmes and shows that we're talking about that you've enjoyed as a viewer, not just as somebody who works in, in the industry. Why do you think now is such an exciting time to work in television? Well, I don't know. Possibly the technology is pretty much the same as shooting a film. Whereas I guess in the past you'd shoot things on you know, video and they'd be square and the level of performances, I don't know, there's, there's a difference. But you know, look at the cast we had on The Night Manager. That, that level of cast is a movie cast. The level of writing, the level of cinematography, you know, it, it looks like a film. And you know, yes, the money's not as huge, but you do things in different ways. I don't know, and you don't think, I don't certainly sit there thinking, this needs to be like a film. You just think, it just needs to be as good as I can make it. Everyone else kind of sees to how great it looks, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a good time to be doing this though, isn't it, really? An amazing time to be doing it. And Ben Lester, very, very, very much deserved. Um, take it home and put it on the mantelpiece immediately. <laughs> Thank you very much. I have to wait till the end of the night, I think. Oh, go on, have a busy wife first. Yeah. I will do. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Ben.